Welcome back. Everybody knows sometimes the fast food meal is all you have time for. It happens, right? Yeah. Our life is busy. Here with us today, Melanie Douglas and Scott Mitchell from the Really Healthy Podcast with some drive-through hacks. So if you're thinking about, well, is there a way to make this as healthy as possible? These are our guys right here. Yeah. If I am anxious. <laughs> I'm all ears on this. If the Seasons. fast food is already in hand, what can you do to minimize the damage? So Ooh, we, we have okay. a few tips. So first of all, think about just ordering one thing. So, you know, we go to the drive through and we're like, oh, fries and a shake or a drink or whatever. Just get a burger or mm -hmm. just get a sandwich. Just get one thing. The other thing you can do is just pick half the bun. Do you want the top or the bottom? You don't need both. Like every little That's thing you can idea. do helps. People actually scoop out like the middle of the bun. I've never done that. Okay. But you could. It's a great thing to do at Subway. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, oh, and so the bread. Subway yeah, will actually do it for much. you. Yeah, just ask them and they, mm. they know what to they do. They will do that. They Subway. will absolutely do it. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Um, but you know, the other it's things true. I do are, I, I try to keep like an apple or a banana in my car and so I'll pair it with something healthy, right? Or my kids know we have burgers and broccoli at night. Instead of getting the works fast food, I'll grab five burgers, go home and make, throw some broccoli in the microwave and at least it's better than fries. Right. So those are some kind of simple things. One other tip I saw here that you wrote about is the whole, well, you can get a large for 10 cents more. Right. And it's, oh, yes. I mean, you think, okay, well, I mean, why not? It's basically like getting all this extra food or drink deal. for free, right? Yeah. It's a great deal, but that, I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't help down here. I always pay more for less. I'm happy to do it because it's not cheaper on your waistline. So you know what? If a 44 ounce is cheaper than the 16, it doesn't matter. You don't need 44 ounces of sugar. So it, that, it, it's Ooh. totally fine. Think about paying for the quality of your food, not the quantity. See, and for me, it's about balancing out. Because in, in the past, I go, I'm going to go supersize it, you know, sure. great deal, the whole thing. And having a plan beforehand and, and, and keeping some balance with what you're doing, knowing that there are times in your life you're going to go have fast food. And if you can plan ahead, that's where it works for me. If I plan ahead and know, okay, these are the things that I can do or I can get as opposed to just blindly going, oh, I'm really hungry, and you just stop, and, and you just make a poor choice. Make the choice before you go and find where, okay, I'm going to go to fast food, but I'm, I'm, st I'm, st I'm not going to break the bank doing it. Some good things to remember here, and who knew Subway would pull up the middle of the bread for you. I'm going to do it's that. It's kind of cool. Right? <laughs> you watch them 